Hey, this is Lotzer, and this is the Tier 8 Japanese cruiser Mogami. It has 15 main guns, 8 secondary guns, 50 AA guns, 16 torpedoes, a top speed of 35 knots. Total health, 39,100. For my modules, reduce crit chance on main battery, increase AA range, reduce flood and fire chance, faster rudder shift. And for my commander, situational awareness, basic survivability, basic firing training, faster turret traverse, lower cooldown on damage control, and advanced firing training. We are on the map north, I spawned it on the west side, and I'm headed to A with backup. I've got a friendly destroyer, and he wants me to slow down, he's gonna go spot for me. This is the single greatest and worst game I have ever played. This left me sick to my stomach after this game, and I'm sharing it with you. <laughs> because hopefully, the sickness is contagious, and you will never, ever make this same mistake as I have done in this game. So, I'm spotted by aircraft, enemy aircraft, which happens to be a part of one of the enemy ships, so they're close by. I choose to use my defensive fire because there's no enemy carriers. So, if I can take out their spotting, we can move into A unannounced, and the enemy will have less intel to go off of. And I'm just trying to capture A with my teammate. I had no intention to move past the island, we see that there's an enemy cruiser trying to capture B, and my friend has spotted an enemy cruiser right in front. He took a huge shot. He had to use smoke. The enemy cruiser probably sent out torpedoes, so we gotta be careful. We're gonna wait for the torpedoes to go past, and then we're gonna engage the enemy Mogami. The enemy Mogami is terrifying for the Allied destroyer, and he's just trying to survive. I was just hoping that we could capture the base, and then I could engage the Megami. I didn't want him to interrupt the capture. And I'm engaging the Megami. Unfortunately, the friendly destroyer did not hide in the smoke, and the Megami found him and destroyed him. You gotta come to a complete stop to maintain your stealth in smoke. And once you're completely stopped, then you can start engaging the target. Unfortunately, the destroyer is knocked out. We had to wait for the torpedoes before we could engage the enemy. And the enemy Mogami is actually changing his side. You could see torpedo systems poking out of those holes. He's probably going to send them out. In the perfect world, I would be able to engage the Mogami and scare him off from engaging my friendly. Unfortunately, he probably wasn't going to switch targets. I know I certainly wouldn't. I would kill the enemy destroyer as soon as I can. And he's dropped off radar. He's actually gotten in the smoke that the friendly put out. Of course, the torpedoes are incoming. We knew you were gonna send torpedoes. We're just waiting for him to pop up. We have the advantage of torpedo systems. He has used both his left and his right side. We send out torpedoes for the enemy turpets. We're gonna see if we're lucky. Narrow spread is a long range torpedo. Probably not gonna have a lot of success. The enemy Mogami shows back up and he's setting up for more torpedoes. This guy just loves them. And I'm fine with that. His front guns against my back guns. I have the assistance of a friendly battleship. And we're landing every shot we have. We're, of course, doing massive damage with the guns we have. We're going to take one big shot. He sets us on fire. We use damage control, and we knock out the enemy Mogami with minimal damage sustained. Now, our torpedoes are still going, and I think the enemy Mogami saw them. But this turpid's definitely is sailing as if he has not seen these torpedoes until they're right on top of him. And yes, I sent out all my torpedoes. And it looks like it's a perfect strike on him. We land almost every single one and we destroy him. A hundred to zero turpids. And that was complete chance. I just sent them out to see how they would do. We have an enemy Fuso and an enemy Cleveland. Yes, it's a Fuso, it's not a Fuso. I want to pronounce these names correctly. Of course, I have family from Cleveland, so I'm not going to get that one wrong. But, yes, the Fuso and the Cleveland, two great ships. I have them both in my port. Use them constantly for ranked battles. They are top tier, even when they are a tier 6 fighting a tier 7. I think both of these ships outrank their tier. And you got to be careful with them. The Cleveland just in range. The Fuso is nearly full health, not an ideal target. We're going to engage the Cleveland as much as we can while also trying to move forward so we can put more pressure on the enemy. 
the enemy has captured C, D, and B, and right now we just captured B. We're attempting to capture D, and I'm dealing with people sailing, and this is a situation where both parties didn't give way, and I just want to get past them as soon as I can, so I'm turning my ship so I can get it through to the objective. The objective is to kill these ships. Not in range for torpedoes, but we check anyway. We're taking incoming fire. He's either firing at me or he's firing at the friendly Miyoko. The Miyoko Tier 7 Japanese cruiser, fantastic. Probably gonna have to rebuy since ranked battles don't have my beautiful Mogami in it. Man, if I had the Mogami in ranked battles, oh, everything would die. This ship is so good. So good. I, there's not a ship that I like more than the Mogami. So we're moving up in between A and B. Friendly is attempting to capture C. He's under fire from two enemy cruisers. There's an enemy destroyer next to B. And we got a bunch of enemy ships. Nagato, Fuso, a couple Clevelands. Clevelands are real low. They're all pulling back because we are pushing forward. Now, a lot of times when a ship is very low, I will allow it to be taken out by the target who has brought them low. But that Cleveland ship is being allowed to survive way too long. So we're going to switch from the Nagato and fire on the enemy Cleveland. Take them out. Should have been done a long time ago. We're going to switch right back to the Nagato. You can see the amount of damage we're doing to this guy. It is like shooting fish in a barrel, my friends. Whenever I'm firing on a battleship, We've got a fire set on him. Yep, there goes the Cleveland. Right back to the Nagato. We've got an enemy destroyer front. This is really, really dumb of me. Super, super aggressive. But in my mind, I was going, he's already dead. I'm going to kill him in one salvo. And yes, you can do that. What should we do? But what if he got his torpedoes out? What if I was a lame duck sitting out there? Just a huge mistake. Just cocky. Just bad play. And we switch right back to Nagato. We're going to do a lot of damage to him. We set him on fire again. We've got high caliber. Guy is done for. You never... Oh, he used damage control. You never want to be in a situation where you're taking a lot of fire from a Mogami. Mogami will make you pay. And nobody could see us, actually. You notice... Situational awareness has not gone off. We are completely hidden, and we're doing this kind of damage. Hidden! Hidden! 6k a salvo! Fire constantly! This ship is so good! <laughs> I love her! Now, of course, we ran into the island. We're backing up, trying to free ourselves. A good player would realize they're capturing B. I should look to attack B, but I should not overextend my ship. But... Notzer doesn't decide to do this. In my infinite wisdom, I decide to go headfirst into the Jaws of Death. I've got an enemy Mutsuki full health in front of me. I'm going to one-shot him just like I one-shot that other destroyer. Well, spoiler alert, that's not going to happen. I only have three guns that I can fire on his position. He knows I'm here. I know he's here. I do a ton of damage, mind you. But it's not enough. We send out the rest of our torpedoes. He sends out his. Wow, a destroyer with torpedoes. Never would have thought that would happen. And of course, we're eliminated. Just sickening. Just watching this over and over and over for this commentary. Just bringing back all the pain. All of the idiocy just comes swelling back. And I just keep shaking my head at how dumb I was. It's not about the five kills you get. It's about the five kills. And yes, easily five more kills sitting there that destroyer at b dead one salvo that cleveland going south to b dead one or two salvos that miyoko going north easily dead the nagato that was being decimated by our guns easily could finish him off and i wouldn't have to put a lot of risk in my ship most of the enemy that is near my last known position are low health and easy prey right and this is just, this is a game that slipped by. It could have been my greatest moment, but it turned to be one of my most regretted moments in World of Warships. And hopefully, 
you don't make the same mistake. If you get in a situation where there's an enemy destroyer in a choke point and you believe you can one-shot them, leave yourself a way out of the situation. You could see how difficult it is for my team to finish this game off. The New Mexico is fighting off the destroyer, doesn't really have the rate of fire, he's gonna deal with torpedoes making contact with his ship. Thankfully, only two make contact. It looks like he's able to use damage control and stop a flood if it did occur. He's got friendly help from a battleship behind him. His secondaries are making some damage to the enemy. And the New Mexico's gun reload is really long. And finally, it's ready to go and he takes him out. The enemy Miyoko is one shot away. The enemy Nagato, one shot away too. One for one. Looks like they... Yes, okay, so the Nagato, the Miyoko's down. We got two ships at sea trying to fight off the Fuso. We've got what looks like a friendly cruiser trying to go after that Pensacola. And I can't believe this Fuso's full health. This is just amazing. The guy started out on the far left side and he's made his way all the way to sea and taken minimal damage. It's just amazing. Our Fuso is able to fire at the enemy Fuso and it looks like he's going to do massive damage. Oh, hell yeah. Takes him down to just above 50% life. And I believe he's trying to angle his ship so it's not so broadside with the enemy Fuso. Enemy Pensacola in the background, taken fire, very low. Oh, the enemy Fuso is distracted. He's firing on another ship. And another full broadside by this friendly Fuso. And he takes him down again. The enemy Fuso barely alive. Pensacola taken out by the friendly cruiser. Come on, Desorda. Finish off the enemy Fuso. Terpus lands a pretty big shot. And yeah, this is going to be it. This is going to be it. Friendly Fuso fires on the enemy Fuso. All broadside. And he takes him out. So, the game ended. Team did a great job finishing the game. Five kills. Two devastating. High caliber. Tons of credits. Tons of XP. Base XP of 2,619. We did around 160,000 points of damage and we could have probably gotten 40,000 more at least it, it was that bad it was such a huge mistake I hope you enjoyed the good points I hope you can learn from the bad points I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you next time